one of the most important skills that you need to learn is how to fault find a circuit. Lots of students have no problems at all when it comes to building a circuit, but they fall apart when the circuit they built just does not work. The more practice you have at fault finding, the easier it becomes. In this video we will look at the basic steps to fault find a circuit. The most common reason that most circuits do not work is because there is a break somewhere in the circuit. In this case, the circuit will not work because the current does not have a complete path to travel across. That is, current must be able to travel from one terminal of the power supply all the way through your circuit to the other terminal of the power supply. Therefore, begin fault finding by doing a visual inspection of the circuit. Starting at the source, Trace the path of the circuit looking for any obvious connection mistakes. If after the visual inspection your circuit does not work, use the digital multimeter to check for conductivity. When there is conductivity, the multimeter will make a beeping sound. Therefore, starting from the source, go through your circuit testing for conductivity. Be careful though, as the meter will work only for small resistances. A large resistance will be treated as a break in conductivity. Eventually you should find the problem. Another method, or in addition to the conductivity testing, is to follow the voltage or signal through your circuit starting from the source. You can use your digital multimeter to watch what happens to the voltage from one wire or component to the next. After completing all of these tasks, you should now have found the fault in your circuit.